Hey everybody, it's Melanie Knight. I just got off a super inspiring interview with this amazing woman named Charlotte. She started an amazing Instagram account called 60 Seconds for Oceans, and she ultimately just cold called and reached out to people by email and said, hey, would you be interested in giving me 60 seconds worth of advice for young women scientists who are looking to get into the field of marine conservation? She has now done over a hundred of these interviews and I was privileged to be one of them. Right after she interviewed me, we kept the conversation going and I turned the questions back to her. This girl is super interesting. She's got an amazing future, an amazing background, and she really does have a lot to share with each of you. Without further ado, here's the interview. Okay. Awesome. Well, it's so nice to meet you, Charlotte. Thank you so much. Is it okay that I call you Charlotte, actually? Yeah, of course. Do people know that your, <laughs> your name is Charlotte, or are you just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charlotte is fine. <laughs> Can you quickly tell me, where, where are you at, and what are you doing here in, in your life right now? So I'm currently a freshman in my third quarter uh, at UC Davis, and I'm studying environmental science and management with a minor in communications. And with this degree, I still hope to um, work in marine conservation after college. Yes. So the reason why we know each other is because you have been making these amazing videos on Instagram. And how many have you made so far? Um, I think I've made around 103, somewhere, somewhere around that number. <laughs> Amazing. And explain the concept for us. 60 seconds for oceans. What does that mean? And, and how do you do it? So I wanted to make um, a project that was, um, you know, short and sweet that gets straight to the point, you know, that doesn't have to drag on for a while for you to hear what you want to hear. And so I decided to come up with 60 Seconds for Oceans, where I post 60 second interviews on Instagram of marine biologists, marine conservationists, marine activists, really anyone who works, you know, within the environmental field, marine conservation, marine biology and all of that and get their advice to help the younger generation. Um, get into marine conservation or even just, you know, STEM. And I specifically directed it to young women because I myself am a young woman and would have loved to get all of this advice when I was younger and was just getting started in, in science and, and the ocean and all of that. Amazing. When did you start this project? How old were you? I was, I think I was 17 at the time. It was my summer between my junior and senior year of high school. Amazing. And what inspired you to get, get this started? I guess you wanted that you wanted the advice, but then what gave you the, you know, the gusto to be like, I'm just going to call up somebody and ask them for 60 seconds of advice. Where did the idea come from? Um, ever since I went um, scuba diving and snorkeling with whale sharks on a research expedition back in 2018, I, I had this urge to try and, and create a project uh, related to marine conservation. And so my dad um, and I started brainstorming different ideas of different projects that we could do. And we just came up with the idea of, of doing interviews and getting, you know, advice from the experts, as you can see on the logo, hear it from the experts. Um, yeah. And then from then on, it just kind of fell into, you know, it kind of snowballed into where I am now um, and all of that. Yeah. It's really impressive the amount of interviews that you've done, but also who you've been able to attract. Who would you say is like, are your like top couple interviews that you were like really excited, special people you really wanted to meet or impressive people that really wowed you? Mm -hmm. So I think definitely growing up, there were um, a few people that stood out and I was really lucky to be able to interview Mitty, uh, also known as Christina Mittermeier and Paul Nicklin, um, co-founders of Sea Legacy. Mm -hmm. And those were definitely incredible interviews. And I very luckily got them to, um, you know, be interviewed by me at the start of my project. And it was real nice to see that they had faith in me and that I was able, you know, to continue doing this project. And it was just amazing to be able to interview them because I, I thought that they would never reply to my email and they did. And it was just amazing. <laughs> what would be your advice to a 16 to 25 year old young woman if they say they want to do something to contribute to marine conservation? I love this question. I would say two things. Number one is, it, since we're little girls, we are indoctrinated into believing that certain careers and certain paths in life are not for women. I call that the peanut gallery, the little voices in your head telling you that this is not for girls, this is too dangerous, it's too difficult. So first piece of advice I would say is silence your peanut gallery, tell it to shut up. And there's definitely still a lot of people that I do want to interview, such as Sylvia Earle, um, 
obviously, but hopefully that'll happen one day. Um, <laughs> yeah. We interviewed some people in her circles, right? Some filmmakers that she's worked with, with Nat Geo yeah. and some other impressive people. Definitely. The list that you've, that you've curated has been incredible, really uh, yeah. impressive folks. I know, Several I've times. been very lucky. <laughs> Yeah. And how, what do you, when you say you reached out and they wrote back, how often does that happen? Like, is it pretty much everyone you've reached out to has, has positively responded? Uh, what's your rate of success? <laughs> it's very close to 100%. I've been very lucky. And I mean, I think it's in part of the first people that I interviewed were, you know, family friends who were able to connect me to other people and they connected me to other people and it kind of snowballed and Every time I interviewed someone, they'd, interv- they'd introduce me to more people. And so I think there's only been a couple of people who haven't re- replied to me. Most of them have. And so that's been great. <laughs> really amazing. Because And I think that just tells everyone that really, like, if you cold call someone with a great request and with a simple ask, uh, and really with the, like a lot of curiosity, most of the time people are really willing, especially yeah. in this industry to help, exactly. to help, out, right? Yeah, so I mean, shoot your shot. You never know if they don't answer, at least you try it. And if they do, that's amazing. <laughs> and then be ready to ask like good questions. So you really can take, take the best learning from it. Mm-hmm. So that's my next question. What is like the key lesson that you've taken away from this? Maybe not one, maybe it's two, but what would you say is your biggest learning? Honestly, I would just say, stay true to yourself. You know, don't let other people bring you down. Don't let people say no. If you really, really want to do something and you put your mind to it, don't listen to them. Because if you think you can do it, you probably can, you know? And I started this project not, you know, with any big expectations, thinking nobody would reply to my emails and I'd have four interviews on my page and all of that. But I mean, look at where I'm now. I've interviewed so many amazing people and it was like, I mean, it was worth it sending those emails, you know, being scared of not knowing what's going to happen next, but it's just been truly amazing. And so you said that you want to get Sylvia Earle on here. I think shout out to Sylvia Earle. Let's see if we can get Sylvia Earle on here. Someone might know her. An Um, honor. (laughs) Let's get Charlotte and Sylvia connected. I think that'd be a dream team. What would you say is your, your, your next steps or your, your plans? you know, I'm still a college student. So there's still a lot of uncertainty of what's going to happen next. And I still have a lot of time to figure that out. And for now, I'm trying to take it day by day and trying to to see what I, I where I want to take, you know, 60 seconds, you know, next and what the next step is for me. I don't exactly know yet. Um, I, I'm, I'm taking a class where I'm making a science book for kids. So I, I might, you know, publish that. I'll see if my designs are, you know, artistic enough. <laughs> But yeah, for as for 60 seconds version, um, I don't know, but I have a lot of ambition. So um, we'll see where it goes. Yes, you do. Definitely. That is very clear. Well, I'm like wishing you the best of luck and honestly, uh, such a privilege and honor to chat with you today. And yeah, thanks so much for my interview and thanks so much for doing this with me. Um, I really do hope that everyone follows Charlotte and get on her Instagram at uh, 60 seconds for oceans and honestly like go through the catalog of all the amazing people and if you're looking to become a marine biologist or marine scientist she's got some of the best advice you can get in the biz so uh, thank you charlotte for your time i really appreciate it thank you for having me (laughs) right isn't she so great it just goes to show that if you yourself are going for your dreams have something that you're working towards go for it if you're still watching this video or if you've seen any of my other videos and you've subscribed honestly Thank you so much. Okay, I really do appreciate when you subscribe. Your time and attention is honestly a gift. If you haven't already and you would like to, please do. Uh, Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.